guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Divine Feminine, welcome to this week's Yin reading for June 17th until the 28th. I hope you're all doing well. If you're masculine watching the reading, I'm sorry. I forgot to wish you a happy Father's Day if some of you guys are daddies. Okay, so I'm using the John Holland Psychic Tarot. So I'm going to pull the cards first and then we'll go through the positions. Um, one of the viewers was asking about what tags are. Um, this has to do with the Twin Flame reading. I mentioned that I, somewhere along the way, deleted my tags um, for my videos. So tags are, they could be single words or, you know, a couple of words like true love. Um, that are entered into the tag section when you upload your video. There's a box uh, below the description area which says tags. So you enter those single words or phrases. Um, always put a comma afterwards so you can separate them. And so when people uh, search on Google um, for a video, tarot reading, um, your reading will show up in search and it also kind of groups um, your readings in with similar readings as well so it'll show up in um, your suggestion box as well so it does um, definitely has an effect on the amount of views that you have so I highly recommend so if you're a tarot reader you know obviously you can have tarot cards psychic um, intuitive, foresight, tell the future, that kind of thing. Whatever you can think of. So the overall energy for June 17th to the 28th is five of cups, emotional loss. So this is somebody who ha has a closed off heart. There is a max masculine energy here. Um, so I think the message from the universe was very strong in the Twin Flame reading to open up, right? Remember, we got the King of Swords and the King of Pentacles. This is somebody who is very grounded, very uh, goal-oriented, whereas the King of Swords is somebody who's closed off emotionally. Um, the Ice King, control. Okay, so... Again, it's projecting this hurt, um, hurt, you know, vulnerable, protective energy. So we want to open that up. So how do you feel about the relationship, the Seven of Pentacles, patience and planning? Um, so this is the pregnant pause. It's a forced pause. You're waiting for the return. So... In the 3D, you feel that you're at a standstill with the masculine, you're reconsidering, you're planning for the future, you're seeing where you made mistakes. Um, there's no emotional connection here. It's all about manifesting in the 3D. And that's what I was picking up very strongly in the Twin Flame reading. You are focused on the material world. But there's this feeling of waiting, you know, the, we have some leaves being rustled up, so it's almost like this fall, um, you know, harvest, waiting for harvest, waiting for change. What are you resisting? The universe card. So... This is a completion of a major cycle. It could take up to 20 years to complete. Um, it is an acknowledgement from the universe that you've 
you know, you've completed this journey or you've completed something that took a long time. Sorry if you can hear people outside. I think some people are having barbecues, so sounds like they're having a good time. Um, you know, you, you're maybe resisting seeing the big picture. Now with the Yang reading, he had the Nine of Cups, which is dreams come true. And so it was like these hands reaching out, holding this galaxy in their hands. And here we have a galaxy being represented. Um, so the strong message that was coming through for the masculine side was strengthening bonds, connecting. So, yeah. You're resisting seeing the big picture. You're focused on 3D reality. Message from your higher self. Partnerships and alliances. There you go. Your higher self is telling you to reach out, connect, form bonds, um, but be open to those bonds. So don't, don't close yourself off again. Stay open. Past position, transformation. So the, you are also bringing the death card into the union for the twin flame reading. Um, so you are in a transition. You are being reborn. You are completing some major shit in your life. Um, cutting away things that are no longer serving you. Putting a death to the ego, death to your old identity. And so there is a feminine being represented here as illuminated, growing your butterfly wings, coming out of the mind. Okay, your present position, eight of cups, emotional withdrawal. So the overall energy is emotional loss. So you are withdrawing emotionally. Um, now this was actually a very strong energy for coming from the universe for the masculine side was to withdraw from something that was holding him down. Um, but there's also a strong feeling of disconnect, desiring to reconnect, having, you know, feeling loss. So perhaps you are the one who is withdrawing emotionally. Um, and we did see that in the twin flame reading as well. So let me just pull one clarifier card. They are your twin. They are your twin. You know, what's also really capturing my attention is, you know, this person is in a meditative state. They are tr calming their emotional water. Now, the shadow is multicolored like chakra. You know, so there's this vibrancy, this depth that is being represented here, that you are on a journey. The journey is one that you take alone. Um, you're discovering some truths, and the truth is, you know, they are your twin flame. Um, but you feel an emotional withdrawal, and it's, it's hurting your heart. I'm, I'm thinking maybe this is you, the feminine, not necessarily the masculine. So the future position, we have heart chakra. Nice. This card showed up in the future position for the twin flame extended reading. So confirmation that you will, your heart will open up in a beautiful way. You take the advice of the universe. So what does the universe want to say? Temptation, the, the devil. Um, so this could have to do with addictions, karmic relationships. So it's a chain. So what I'm really feeling with this is, you know, your ego, you're battling with your ego. Don't allow your ego to take control, right? The, we see the king energy, you know, is very solid, stern, authoritative, and 
that's coming from an ego point, right? You're taking control of a situation or cutting yourself. You're actively doing something that is blocking you. You can see that blockage as well over there. Now, the tower showed up in the masculine's past position, and, but it was a feminine that was being represented. And you kind of felt that same kind of guardedness of the heart. So that could have been you. Okay, so what is in your external is the Four of Swords, Rest and Rejuvenation. Um, again, meditating. This is healing the heart. It's in your external environment, so um, it's almost like you're both thinking of each other at this moment. Um, you both feel each other emotionally. You feel a disconnect emotionally. A lot of aloneness and stillness, but healing. So the masculine got the King of Cups from the Osho Zen, which is healing. So I feel the masculine is healing. Um, and so are you during that pause. What do you fear? Financial material changes. So this is um, some type of loss. Something's taken from you. Um, you feel alone, lost. Uh, you have no one to help you. Your higher self is telling you to reach out. And you will, right, with the heart chakra. This is the heart completely exploding into love. But it could also mean that you're afraid of losing something in the 3D reality. You feel like you've gained stability and freedom, but material manifestation can't make you happy. You know, pursuing material things won't make you happy, won't bring you a sense of satisfaction. <clears throat> you need to feel satisfied within yourself, you know, just love yourself, and then everything falls into place. So there's a definite feeling of lack. You fear lack. You fear losing something. And, and it's like, you know, there, if you look at this hand, it's reaching for something. You know, you don't know if they should take that or not. And then we have that same reaching. You know, instead of reaching for a negative influence, reach for a connection, partnership, alliances. You feel alone, you feel disconnected, and, but it's because the masculine is doing the same thing. He's healing himself, and something great is going to happen in the future. Beautiful reading, guys, but you have to be open to it. Okay, so let's pull one card from Psychic Tarot of the Heart. No, actually, I think I used the Osho Zen again. For the basic reading so you can purchase the extended reason reading in the link below um, or you can become a patron through patreon um, you get all my extended readings for a month early and you also get the mid-month energy reading um, yeah i definitely cater to the patrons first so in the future, when I start to do readings again, um, I will be, you know, taking reading orders from the patrons first. Okay, so let's see. Um, the overall message from the universe is clinging to the past. The Five of Cups, same card. Okay. The figure pictured in this card is preoccupied with clutching her box of memories that she has turned her back on the sparkling champagne glass of blessings available here and now. That's what I was feeling with those kings, you know, um, concentrating on your loss, your lack. 
Her nostalgia for the past really makes her a blockhead and a beggar besides, as we can see from her patched and ragged clothes. She needn't be a beggar, of course, but she is not available to taste the pleasures that offer themselves in the present. It's time to face up to the fact that the past is gone, and any effort to repeat it is a sure way of staying stuck in old blueprint that would have already out, you would have already outgrown if it hadn't been so busy clinging to what you have already been through. And that's what I was, I'm feeling, right? You feel that loss, um, and you are you're in a transit stage and opening up your heart in the future. So this is just confirmation, right? Just to stop living in the past, be open to the present. Take a deep breath, put the box down, tie it in a pretty ribbon if you must, and bid it a fond, reverent farewell. Life is passing you by, and you're in danger of becoming an old fossil before your time. So there was a feeling of you being in a romantic um, phase this coming week, feeling romance, feeling a desire to connect with the masculine, to be the muse. Um, and then, a, you know, in the extended region, or yeah, the extended reading final outcome, there was a, the flirt card came up. So stop clinging to the past. You cannot live there. You know, you can only live in the now and don't worry about the future. Right? Appreciate what you have in the now. All right, so I do hope this helps. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. All right, cheers.